For our 20th and final case of this lecture, we have a 40-year-old woman with visual abnormalities. You see some CT images from the orbits. This happens to be post-contrast imaging. You see coronal imaging also through the orbits. All right, so what is your diagnosis? And finally, in patients with thyroid ophthalmopathy, what is the cause of the enlargement of the extraocular muscles? So this is a case of thyroid ophthalmopathy, uh, which is seen in Graves' disease. In this case, you have bilateral, often symmetric enlargement of extraocular muscles. Usually won't have involvement of the other structures, such as the lacrimal duct or optic nerves. They also tend to spare the tendon insertion, so up near the globe itself. Uh, here's a mnemonic for remembering the order of most likely involvement. Uh, so it's I'm slow, or inferior, medial, superior, lateral, and then oblique. The cause of the enlargement in this case is the autoantibody causes infiltration of the muscles of the orbit. For this reason, only patients with grave disease will have optic involvement. If you just uh, take exogenous thyroid, for instance, you won't get enlargement of your extraocular muscles. Uh, differential diagnosis for a case like this is orbital pseudotumor, other inflammatory diseases like sarcoid, uh, lymphoma, metastases. In this case, as I mentioned, the cause of the enlargement of the extracular muscles is from this autoantibody to the TSH receptor. That's what causes the white, uh, white cell infiltrate to the extracular muscles. I just want to say thanks for uh, joining us for this lecture. Uh, we have to have more lectures shortly, and uh, feel free to review these anytime uh, you like.